Yo dudes and welcome back. Today we're going to be building a fun, a very fun map. It's going to be a bounce house and I've already got all the meshes from Blender to make this happen. Now this isn't just a normal bounce house, it'll be a bounce house zone in the uh, the mining game that I've been helping the bee family make. So right here we have our main spawn. Over here we have our VIP area, which I may change to more of something like this, we'll see. And then right here we have our digging area. So this, I've already got the lighting done, I've already got the meshes made, this should be a pretty easy thing to do. What I want to do is grab these and these, we're going to make those a nice yellow. I think bright yellow works good for me. Let's make these like a nice, we'll grab the bottom ones too, let's make those a nice cyan. Eh, uh, that's a little green tinted. I want to go just blue. I think that looks a lot better. The top and the bottom, we're going to make red or this like Permesian color. And then this, guys, this is the most clutch mesh I might have ever made. Because I can just drag it, bring it where I need it, and then scale it up. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Put it right here, and then we'll just drag it across. Bring it out so it connects with everything. Perfect. And now you see, since we made it bigger, it's a bit stretched out. And you can't really see the divots. All I gotta do, drag it up. I can drag the bottom down, and boom. It's back to, like, perfection of a bounce house. For the floor, I don't really know what color. Maybe yellow again? We can always change it later. Oh yeah, I think that looks alright. And then we have this. What color should we do for these? Maybe a green? Yeah, why not? <laughs> now this area is a VIP zone, so we're gonna make the bottom gold, and then the floor within it, we're gonna make white. And of course, we'll slap a nice texture on it, just to make sure it's looking good. Drag the bottom down a bit so it has more of that bounce feeling. Perfect, let's make this white. Scale this in. And then down here, I wanna do, hmm. Brown would be cool as it's a digging area, but I think red for this one and then blue for the outer one. Something like that. Yo, this is already looking sick. All right, now guys, hear me out. We're gonna use our bounce ramps. Let's just rotate those. We're gonna scale them out a little bit. Maybe drag them up some. And let's line this up so everything fits well. I'm real excited about this one. Drag it down a little bit. Make sure it's meeting everything. There we go. Let's make these like an orange. I want to keep using like a multitude of colors just because I think it'll help. And then we're going to use these as like ramp walls. May have to still make invisible walls later on so players don't just jump out of the map. But nonetheless, this is going to be very nice. I made sure to make everything in Blender real rounded and cartoon-esque just to give it that really fun bounce house vibe. And I think we're kind of killing it. I'm not even going to lie. Let's toss one on the other side. I might change this to red. Uh, the orange and yellow don't really contrast too well. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I do think I want to change the VIP room from the square to the rectangle. It makes a bit more sense for me, I think. So we're going to scale this up. I could even do like two of these. Guys, yes. Let's do two of those. Rotate this. Drag it in. Yeah, this will be a lot better of a VIP room, I think. So let's just delete that one. Duplicate this. Oh, yeah. And now let's get this uh, in a nice area because we're going to have another slide going up. This is just the, the best way to add elevation in a bounce house. <laughs> like most of the time they're kind of flat unless there's a slide. And I made sure to keep this sort of a rippled pattern just so you'd be able to actually climb up it and it's not like a genuine slide. So let's get these situated. I think about right there is pretty good. And let's do something else here. Our slide color, we could do gold. And then the walls will do white. And now how do we want to do up here? I think the main yellow is kind of too bright. So we're going to switch that to a green. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. Now back here for the VIP room, I mean, everything's telling me just to do gold. Should we invert one of them maybe? So the gold is on the inside and the white is on the outside? Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Now we're going to duplicate this, rotate it, turn it. There we go. And we're going to use this as a wall also. Like I was saying toward the beginning of this video, it's such a multi-purpose mesh. I genuinely love it. Oh yeah, this is looking awesome. And then we'll grab this once again and we'll fill in all of down here with it. This might be one of the quicker maps I've ever made, but maybe that's because I skipped the blender portion for the video. <laughs> 
All right, now I do see one issue that we may run into here. Once we put these across the sides, they will no longer line up. So if we squish it like this, it's gonna be like that, which is uh, not exactly great. So for now, we're gonna skip this part. I imagine I'll have to use a texture or I'll go back into Blender with like one of these parts and just cut a hole in the middle of it. That would also work. I'm gonna go ahead and get the netting up, which is this right here. Maybe some props kind of spread around. Get the rest of the floor done, put some walls up, and guys, you're about to see this really come together. All right, guys, so we have officially kind of built out the entirety of the map. I end up just using parts here because it just works the best. We built up the entire map, and now we're going to need to go into Blender and remake these crates and this chest because at the moment, I just kind of copy and pasted them over from the other map. But I got to keep that as a surprise. So once the game comes out, then you guys will have to see them. I don't want to spoil everything for you. Anyways, this map is looking pretty sick. If we walk around in it, it feels pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. Let's play here and I really hope that I anchored everything. Like, oh, please. Okay, we're looking pretty good. I added some beams behind the chest. I just thought it looked really cool. And then also on the VIP door, once again, just really cool. And I added these sort of in the middle. So the walk going from here to the dig site is pretty clean. If you were to walk on this side, it's just like, I don't know, some players could find it annoying. So I just added these to make it a lot smoother of a walk. Worst case scenario, we could always add a invisible part right across the top as well. So you're not walking into like the creases and all that stuff. But I'll leave that up to like the guy who owns the game to see if he wants to do that or wants me to do it. Now for the chest and the crates, I'm thinking pretty much the same thing, just bubbly. So rounding every edge, add bevels on everything, and I think it'll look pretty good. The VIP zone, well, I can't get over there right now because I put a door up. Anyways, here's how it looks. I think it's pretty sick. And then of course, the dig site, last but not least, is the exact same size. Check it out, boom. Let's start digging, guys. Anyways, I think for today, that'll wrap it up. Oh, I might add nets here. But I think for today, that's gonna wrap it up. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.